Hey, tonight we are coming to you from Mumbai on a day when the city has seen news headlines over the principal of the reputed St. Xavier's College, Father Fraser Mascarenas, writing a letter to his students asking them to choose wisely. But also in the letter, Father Fraser Mascarenas says, uh, talks about the Gujarat model and does not approve of it and says there are other policies also that could be better development indicators. We bring you the day's events and what has happened throughout the day over Father Fraser Mascarenas' letter. Here is somebody writing as the head of an institution. If he is trying to influence the minds of students who come to learn from his institution, that is certainly wrong. A person who is an academic is not a zombie. He has every right under the constitution to express his views. A political storm over this email sent to students by the principal of Mumbai's St. Xavier's College. The BJP dragging Father Fraser Mascarenas to the election commission as the principal blasted Narendra Modi's Gujarat model and appealed to students to vote sensibly. He wrote, the prospect of an alliance of corporate capital and communal forces coming to power constitutes a real threat to the future of our secular democracy. Support for people who pledge to work to take human development indicators higher and who commit themselves to a pluralistic culture in diverse India, this is the hope for the future. No magic wand or divine miracles will come to the aid of the Indian people. Their recent choice of individuals and political parties who promise to work for a real quality of life for all will see India prosper or flounder on the precipice. Choose well. Father Fraser has an absolute in a democracy entitled to his own opinion. Let the academics come out, air their views, but they're not commands. They're only viewpoints. So letter doesn't really make any bones about not being politically colored. It is, and it's proudly so. And I think that Fr Father Fraser's freedom of expression or any principal's freedom of expression, regardless of whether they're public funded or not, should be valued more. The Congress evidently delighted with the support. Milan Deora, MP from South Mumbai, seeking re-election and Sashi Tharoor backing Mascarenas. But his counterpart from Delhi St. Stephen's College, not in agreement. The principal of an institution is, a, is in a privileged position. He has a well-defined relationship with the students. He has an official position. And the website of the institution is also an official organ. So, if I have to make such, such a choice, I would not do it. Father Mascarenas, meanwhile, insists he was only sharing certain issues students could consider before voting. And this was only an internal letter, not for the public. In Mumbai with Tejas Smetha, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Let's just go across two students from St. Xavier's College who've been hearing and reading about this and watching all of this on television. Your students of the college, Father Fraser's letter has clearly snowballed into a political controversy now. What do you think is wrong with the letter, if at all you think there's something wrong? I doubt there's much wrong. I doubt what the media is showing is entirely accurate though. For example, one section that's not been highlighted in the media is that that letter specifically contains a criticism of how the UPA government has not been able to tackle environmental degradation and how an environment minister was changed under suspicious circumstances following which a slew of industrial clearances were approved. So the article's not been taken in its entirety and I think definitely Father Fraser did the right thing in posting it. Maybe he should have done it on a personal website but that's another story altogether. What about you? Honestly, I think that what the problem here is that people have been fabricating what has been said by Father. His intentions were clear when he started the mail with the idea of trying to tell people to vote and to choose wisely. And yeah, like you said, it's been snowballed into an effect, like uh, it's gone to communal problems and things like that, which is what's creating the problem in the first place. What about you? Do you think there's a uh, there's something wrong with the platform he chose or he's per perfectly okay in writing a letter like that to his students and there's no political color in the letter? Do you agree? Um, uh, well, I, I, I would say that there should, be a, there should have been a better balance in writing the paper, but I think there should have uh, an online platform, maybe a personal ID would have been a better opinion than publicly. Uh, 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 than addressing the public. students directly. Exactly. What about you? Um, I actually agree with her. A personal ID would have made more sense. But um, given all that, I still think what he's done is pretty commendable and it makes sense. And, and the kind of criticism he's faced, uh, faced today, some coming from his own colleagues. Right. So 
the thing is, um, the way it's being covered, I think it's really snowballed into something that, well, his in intentions were definitely clear, and I think it's definitely snowballed. Last comment, very quickly. Yeah, I feel again that he should have uh, commented. He, he shouldn't have used the, the official platform of the college to uh, to highlight these views here. Yeah.